Wait, sorry about that. So, so yeah. So, so anyway, you guys, so back streaming. Uh, tonight's the Arena Kings uh, event, the uh, 3-0 portion of it. So I think it's 3-0 tonight, if I'm not mistaken. Um, let me let me double check on that. Yes, yeah, the 3-0-1. So um, should be should be pretty interesting. Um, so once again, let's see. Don't see anyone watching yet. I assume it's going to take a second for the numbers to show up. Hey, so Bar Bard. Hydliest one, assume, assuming that I'm pronouncing that correctly, says, hey, genius. Um, certainly, I'm many things. I don't know if I'd say I'm a genius, though. But thanks for the compliment anyway. Hello, newer 33. So it looks like we're about 4 minutes, 20 seconds away from the start of the event. Um, yeah, so just, just looking forward to this game. Should be should, This event should be pretty interesting. I mean, the other one was was really fast. I feel like this one, there should be a little bit less luck involved because in Bullet, it seems to me that you can just go on a big streak and everything depends on when the games end. Um, and I feel like in, in 3-0 or 5-0, 5-0, most likely it should be a little bit more synced in terms of when games end. Um, so yeah. Hello, Mini Max. Hello, Face Chess. Thank you for the donations the past couple of days. Um, so once again, you guys, I, I tinkered with the volume settings a little bit. So hopefully it's better. If it's not, you guys can let me know. But I think it should be uh, should be pretty good. So, all right. Face Cha says at Jim Hikaru, it is perfect. You're good. Thank you. That's good to know. Um, all right, so everyone seems to be happy with the uh, happy with the sound tonight. So tinkered a little bit. Hopefully, it's better. Um, we'll see. So about three minutes away from the start. Standard three o two hours of um, Levy just raided you. What does raiding mean? Sorry for sounding like I'm from like the 1980s or something. But what does uh, raid mean? Since I'm since I'm stupid. And thank you. Oops, sorry, didn't didn't read that correctly. Sorry, thank you, uh, Esoteric PA, for subscribing. Oh, so so rating ah uh, so rating means you transfer from the stream you're running. So like in theory, I could do the same thing for him. Like everyone who's watching me, I could then transfer them over to his. I guess. Um, okay, that's awesome. Good to know. Thank you, uh, thank you, Gotham Chess. He ended his stream. Oh, well, that's uh, that's that's very polite. But um, I guess we start in two minutes. And I think I just heard some people knocking on my door, but I'm not answering my door because even if it is Halloween, I got to play Arena Kings. Chess is more important than Halloween. So the little kids have to wait. Yeah, some people keep knocking on my door, but I'm not going to go get it. I have to focus on playing chess tonight. Um, start, so the event is starting one, one, one and a half minutes, you guys. So, um, so, so yeah, well, I mean, I, I, for, I forgot it was Halloween actually. I've been out of the country so long. I mean, I guess, I, I guess I should have just gone out to the store and bought a bunch of like candy and put it out in front. But, um, yeah, that's, that's what happens. Ah, no Red Bull. Yeah, I could have done that. That would have been funny. Just uh, put like, put like five cases of Red Bull out in front of the house. And then the kids would be like, huh, what is that? Then again, I'd feel kind of bad. I feel like, I mean, that 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 wouldn't be a, that wouldn't be a good idea for little kids. That's that's not the best thing. So, all right, um, fifty-eight seconds to start. So, Penguin is here. No one else really that I can see right off. No one's super strong, so it should be should be pretty pretty interesting. Um, <laughs> that's a good one. So. Um, Clumsy Rook says, Naka, they mistook your room wall color for a giant jack-o'-lantern. That's funny. That's that's a good one. I like that. That's a good joke. Um, and thank you. Uh, this guy whose name I can never pronounce, Juju Masamati, says, thanks for streaming, Naka. Um, okay, so we're 18 seconds away from the start. So this one should be interesting. I, I mean, 
I think in the last one, Tang played about four more games than I did, but we both played somewhere around, I think I played 64 or 65, he played like 68, I think. Oh, and we played in the first round. That's kind of random too, actually. Um, that's really random. Now, I wonder for match strategy, does it make sense to just like offer a draw in the, since it's the very first game or not? It's an interesting question. I don't actually know. So I'm going to play something a little bit off beat this game. I'm going to start by playing something kind of non-standard. I don't know if it's actually a good thing because if I uh, if I play something stupid and I, I, I mess this up, it could it could be a very bad start. Three, I think I'll play knight c6. I think I'm going to try to force him to commit to something right away. Takes, I'll take. Four, I'm just going to castle. Shrage three, knight b6. Knight c7 to avoid any c5 tricks where he can hit the knight on uh, a6. D1. Now, I think I can play D5 if I want to. And you know what? I am. It's the first game. Why not? Now, he can't take with the E pawn because I've got the pin on the queen on D3 here. If he plays C5, probably I have Knight C4. So I expect a bit deep think here. I'm going to pre-move AB6 as well, just because he could could take on B6. Distant Fire writes the No Sleep Naka Club. Um, so oh wait, sorry, he did actually play C5, so I kind of need to focus. Play Knight C4, I guess. Bishop C1, A5. White has a big problem here because he can't really resolve this uh, the tension here in the center. So h5, bishop h7. So I guess he's going to castle probably. No, bishop d7. So if I take, he wants to take on c4. If I play rook a6 or ab4. ab4 makes sense, I think. A B four A B four I think I'll just take on B four. So it takes now I think I can go knight a six here maybe. Yeah, why not? I'm gonna go knight a six and when he takes I play knight b4 hitting the queen and the bishop on c six. Megatron, or not Megatronic, sorry. Uh, Alan N. Chess writes, nice tactic, but fail. Am I right? And I agree, yeah. Bishop d7 is trying to be too fancy, and it should fail, but maybe it's not so simple. Of course, I did realize as soon as I played this that he did have this knight takes d5 move. Um, that was very careless of me. Now, I could play knight d6 takes, or knight b4, or knight b6 even. A lot of options here. I'm just going to play something stable and solid here, just queen a5. Try to keep it simple. <clears throat> because I'm also way up on the clock here. So knight a6, I mean, I probably, I could have taken and played d4. That would have been the simplest way just to be much better rather than go for this mess. But it is 3-0, right? It, there is no increment as far as I can tell. If I'm not mistaken. Now I've got knight d3. But I think I'll just, I'll just take the pawn. Put the knight back on b4. Throw in a check on a7. I could take on on b7 or just play rook b8 maybe. Now I've got a bad bishop here on uh, h7. That's the only problem I have in this position. Um, whoops, I hung rook d7. That was bad. I guess I'll give up the queen here. Or let him give up his queen. Knight c2, knight e3 with the fork on the king and the rook. Um, maybe just bishop c4, threaten bishop b4. So 
I mean, I am way up on the clock here, so. Oh, jeez, did I just blunder? And that's all she wrote. Okay. That was not a cleanly played game. I, I should have kept it simple earlier on. Um, so, okay, so that's one. That's a good start. All right, Stewie Griffin. Oh, okay, so it is 3-0, it is though. I should remember that. So I, I will be watching the chat um, since it's 3-0, not 1-0, unlike the other time. Um, but I will still have to concentrate somewhat, I think. So he takes, I'll take. Knight f3. Probably try to put a knight on d4 if I can. Um, g6. I'll put the knight back on d4 anyway. Put like f4. Maybe bishop b5 is a move. Maybe just a3. I might go b4. Bishop h6 is a little bit weird. I don't know what this does specifically. Um, if he plays knight c5, I have bishop b5. Now he played rook c8, giving me this, this juicy d6 square. Which is why I shouldn't have gone bishop h6 in the first place. Bishop f8, I'll just, I'll grab the pawn because on rook a8, I have knight b5. Knight c5, not really that concerned. I'm just going to play b4. Knight e4, now I'll go knight d4, and the pawn stops bishop c5, so this is a very nice position that I have in this game. So this guy seems fascinated with putting his bishop on h6. I don't really know why, but it just seems to be his thing. Put the bishop on d4, maybe go knight g3, try to exchange the knight, maybe go queen e3, hit the pawn on b6. Queen h4, nothing really is happening, so I'll just play... I could just grab the pawn even. Yeah, I'm just going to be greedy and grab the pawn. Knight d2, queen f2. I'll tr I'll, it's, it's important that tonight, at least, I don't hang pieces like on the stream last night where I randomly just mouse slip for no good reason. I'll just put bishop e3. Knight e4. I'll, now I'll take and put a bishop on c5, and I'm just going to try to run these pawns right down the board here. Queen c7, knight c3, hit the pawn on e4. Threat knight b5 also. I'm just going to grab. Now I've got knight d6, knight f6, all kinds of trouble. Now I could take the rook here and that would be fine, but since I really just want to be safe, I'm just going to take the take the bishop and, and just basically exchange everything and just win with all these extra pawns here on the uh, queen side. So I guess I'll, I could take, or I'll just play h3. Queen a4. What am I doing? What am I doing? Take rook e3. Protect the pawn on a3, keep c2, control, bishop h6, of course, his favorite square. I'll just put the rook on f3, protect the pawn. Move my king, and I'm going to go c4 next. Um, or queen f1. If he plays queen b5, I'll play queen f1, force him to move, and now I'm just going to start running with the pawn. And now I've also got queen h4, queen d8 ideas as well. Um, I guess I can just play b5 even. Quite simply, I've just got too many pawns. And rook d3, bishop f4 doesn't do anything. Mm, queen h4, queen c5, queen h6. That would be fine. I'm not that concerned, though. So I'm just going to put the bishop, drop the bishop back to b4 and play queen h4 next move. If he takes, I've got rook, rook d8, king g7, and queen h4. Now I think I can go queen h4 with this very potent rook d8 idea. Redguard09 says, Naka, what's the name of your headphones? Uh, I'm just wearing just uh, the, the Bose ones. Um, I think they're the Clear Comfort, maybe? 
Okay, it's another game. So yeah, maybe for this one also, it could be a bit longer. Um, I think they're the Quiet Comfort 35s, if I'm not mistaken, but I'm not I'm not certain. Okay, Red Rollo. Or Rollo, or Rollo, sorry, my bad. Uh, 1393. Oh, so in in this one, you don't have to be titled, maybe? Is that how it works? In, in Arena Kings, maybe you don't actually have, have to be titled to play it. Just Castle. Play F5. F4, wow, okay. I think that's just a free pawn on G4. Knight F5, hit the pawn on E3. Actually, I could have taken on H3 too. That would have been maybe better, maybe. But I guess Knight F1, I've got Knight H4 hitting the bishop on G2. So I can play Knight H4, I can take on D4. I mean, everything is good here, so I'm just gonna take on D4. Take on e3, queen e2, take on g2, take on e5. Now, he's got problems on the diag. I could take a1, I could also just take e6. I'll just take on e6. He'll probably castle, but I feel like somehow this long diagonal should lead to a lot of pain and suffering. So I'm gonna, go oh, I just played, oh my God, I just hung, hung e5, d5, what am I doing? Oh my gosh, I just hung d5. Oh jeez, I would have I would have just lost the game right there. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? So rook f3, I'll trade, play rook f8. Oh, come on, Mini Max. What do you mean I suck? That's not very nice. And I like that. Chesically inclined says, why don't you play like that against me? <laughs> normally, I don't hang, hang, normally, I don't hang pieces like that, but sometimes I do. Stockfish says, I think you losing. You don't have a horse. That is true. I do not have a horse. Luckily, I do have a bishop instead of a horse. Or uh, I do have a bishop instead of a horse. And bishops are sometimes better than horses. The amateur player says, what chat is he reading? I'm reading the chat right here on Twitch, you guys. So um, that's the chat that I'm reading. Oh, Chaton Rose says, remember when Amon lost to someone rated like 1,000? Did he really lose to a guy rated 1,000? Oh, that would be terrible. It's doubly bad because I was just winning right out of the opening, so it would have been really, really painful. Knight d2, and now I've got queen a3 and just queen b2 checkmate. Or queen a1 as well. Queen a1, queen b2, it's all mate. Oh yeah, that's right. Iman, Iman did lose to someone rated 1900 at the Olympiad. Um, that that is uh, that is true. Uh, Kung Lao Four says Naga, who would win? Um, wait, what is the question? Who would win? A sword with a gun or a gun with a sword? I I'm not sure I understand the question. Um, <laughs> but um, that's pretty funny actually. <laughs> So he takes, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna have some fun this game. I'm gonna try to play something a little bit suspect, try to open it up. Actually, now I've got queen h5. He can't block his h6, he can't block f7. So king f8, knight f3, queen e8. I could, I don't wanna take, but I'll just, I'll just play a simple chess. c6, knight c3. Bartilus says, did you troll Eric when you saw him at the Olympiad? I actually did not really see Eric around very much at the Olympiad. Um, 
Uh, at the Olympiad, everyone generally is in different hotels. So, like, unless you're at the same hotel with certain teams, you're really not going to see much of some of the teams. And, um, yeah, I didn't I didn't see Eric around pretty much at all during the Olympiad. So it's kind of weird. Rookie 8, I'll play Rookie 1. Sorry, I just had to pull up that clip for half a second. Um, so B4, probably. Oh, knight d7, that's a free knight. Where's, um, where on earth is Andrew? I don't see him on the list anywhere. Did he lose the game quickly? So I guess the question is, since this is, um... Since this is, uh, what was I going to say? Since this is Arena King, since it is kind of, my castles? I was going to say, since it's Arena Kings, is whether it makes sense to, to be stable and, like, play, um, play the best moves or try to be, try to gamble a little bit and get away with some stuff. And I, I think I'm going to try to gamble this game and get away with some stuff rather than being... Oh, and he just played D3 anyway. He didn't play D4. I thought I thought he was going to play D4 with that move order. But um, I was wondering if it makes sense to be kind of a little bit more aggressive, take more risks, perhaps. Knight BD2. I could play Bishop G4. I think I'll have some fun. This guy's twenty four fifty nine, so I'm gonna play Bishop G four. I'm gonna I'm gonna give him the piece. He can he can take the piece. That is if he wants. I I mean it's it's kind of it's kind it is dangerous to. Now I've got Knight H four G four Knight G four. Knight takes H four Knight takes E three Queen H five. Oh, is it not enough here? Knight h4, g4, knight g4, knight takes h4, knight takes e3, queen h5. I've just got, I just don't have enough. So, okay, I'll just play queen d7 then, let him exchange. And now he can't go g4, so I take, he takes, I play queen takes g4, check, and then I pick up the knight on f3. Or key one, now I'm gonna go knight h4. King H2. Now I can take both ways. I think I'm just going to take with the... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That wasn't so so hot. Um, so, okay. So, it looks like I'm tied for first with Paul from SPB. I don't know. Oh. But see, this is a weird thing. So, like, I'm on 5 out of 5. And I'm not playing... And both Paul, SB, and I were done. But I didn't play him. And that kind of... It reminds me of the other day in the bullet where I felt like Andrew and I were we're finishing around the same time and I didn't play him until very late. And it seems kind of like the same thing is happening here where I'm not, I mean, I'm not playing the top guy right at the start, which is a little bit odd. So Bishop F5, I could play Knight E5, I could play G4, D3, I could play Knight E5, D3, a lot of options, or just D3, or D4 maybe. I'll play D4, I'm, I'll try something slightly different. Knight f6, play c4, could also take on c5, a lot of options here. Although I keep forgetting, this, this is 3-0, so I should move slightly quicker. Play like rook c1. <clears throat> Whoa, c4? Don't I have knight e5 here or something? It's one move, I guess. I could also just play like c3. I'll just play c3, keep it simple again. b5, just uh, take. I guess if he takes with b pawn, I can go knight e5. He takes with a d pawn, so I'll castle. Probably I'll play a4 next, move force a6. Um. Or rookie one first, maybe. Rookie one makes sense too. It's an 84. The take. I 
I could also play a4 here. Actually, why not? Takes a knight d2, and if he takes queen g4, bishop d3, e4 is a move. I'm going to play a4, try to soften soften up this uh, structure a little bit, play like queen f3. I'm definitely not better in this game. I have to be careful not to end up worse here, actually. Okay, why did he take on a4? That was kind of weird. Now rook b8, I've got bishop a3, and I should be okay. Yeah, actually, the bishop on b2 was bad, but taking on a4 was was really not very smart. Because now, I mean, now it's probably okay for white. If he had just left the pawn on b5, it, it should have just been better for black. King d7, I'll grab the pawn. b8, I can play bishop a3. Maybe just bishop c1, actually. Because now he has to protect the pawn on c4 here. So he plays rook e8. Now I'll go bishop a3, force the exchange. Oh, and now he's oh he's got this one. I completely forgot it. Wait, rook a5? Maybe I got lucky there. I, I forgot he had bishop c2, actually. But I got lucky. So yeah, now bishop c7, maybe I can just play like rook g5 or something. Hit the hit the pawn and threaten to take on c4. This has not gone right for, for black. So now, I mean, now he's black's just down a pawn for pretty much nothing. I guess he's got bishop h2. Bishop b3, knight d2 doesn't really do much because on bishop d5 I could just hit him with c4. So bishop a4. Now I think I'll put the knight on e4 to go to c5. f6 is coming. Both squares are very dangerous. King e8. I could take or just move my rook. I think I'll just move my rook to... I'll put it on g4. Now maybe like e4. H5 now. Yeah, probably I should not have put my rook there, but I'll just drop it back to play E5. F4. C4. Now I'm just going to break it open. If he takes the G pawn, I've got rook G8. If he takes... Whoa, okay. I think I'll put my rook on h7 and go rook g3. Got check. Aha, uh -huh, he's trying to do something. Okay, maybe I should just make a draw here just to be safe. Wait, what am I doing? Ah, oh, and I just couldn't move there. Mouse got stuck. Uh, oh, well. That was unfortunate. Mouse got stuck. Actually, I was completely winning, but then I, then I just started um, getting, uh, started playing way too slowly there at the end for no no good reason. Um, actually, that is one of the problems with the setup, though. The mouse usually, I don't, it's usually the, uh, the microphone is too close to the mouse. So I don't have, like, the leeway to move it as much, but... Anyway, it's still early, not a big deal. Although, actually, why did I just play the Berlin? This guy can force a draw. D3. 
Queen e5, actually, Queen e5 was just a draw. Um, it's worth noting. So luckily he didn't do that, because that would have been a slight problem. Um, bishop g5, and just f6, kick the bishop. This castle. Rook e8, bishop f8. Or play b6 too. I think I'll just play bishop f8. Wait, do I just... No, he can... Okay, I've got 98, and... Hmm. It's a bit of a boring position. Not much happening here for either side. Um, I do have the two bishops, so if I can maybe get queen f7 and bishop g4. Um, Mini Max says, Bond Cloud or Transvestite opening next, please? I don't know what the Transvestite opening is. I'm not sure I want to know what it is. Um... But, okay. Actually, I've got to be careful. Is there some knight g5 trick here? Bishop b7, knight g5, fg5, but I've got queen d5. And then if c4, I've got b5, so it should be fine. I mean, I kind of expect him to play it anyway, but no, he, he, he doesn't play it. So knight g3... I guess he wants to go knight f5, so I'll play g6 to cut off the f5 square for the knight. Knight d4. C5, I guess. Knight e6, I think I go bishop d6. Okay, let's see. So queen b3, take on a four play an end game. I don't really see anything better, so I'll just I'll play an end game. A long slow end game. Ninety four. Could take. Could play a5 too. Or g5 maybe. G5, but g5, knight h5. Takes and knight d6. Okay, let's see. So I'll play g5 then. Knight h5, I'll take. If he takes with the pawn, I get rook d8, rook d2. Rook d4, knight d6. B2, and I could play knight B5 or A5, maybe maybe just A5. Play A4, open it up. I might go knight B5 at some point, knight G3. I'll play F5, restrict the knight. No E4 square. F4, logical move. I'll play H6. If I take, he's got knight H5. King H2. I think I'll play A4 here now. I could take on f4 here, maybe. If I take knight h5, I could do it, but I'll just, I'll keep it simple. No, no need, since I'm way up on the clock, no need to do anything insane. Rook e5, king f6. Maybe rook, rook a2 first was much better, of course, because then knight f5 at king f6. Though this should be pretty good too. So I'm going knight d4. Ah, uh, he's got knight f5, rook c2. Knight e4, just king g6. Knight just takes, and this must be winning. I guess I go for the b pawn. I assume I should go for the b pawn here. Now, like, knight c1, hit the pawn on d3. And b4 takes b3, knight c3. No, I mean, well, what am I doing? I should just... This should be winning. All right, so um, next game. Now 
Now, am I going to play Paul from SB at some point, or... No, I'm not. Okay. Hikaru's fan. Okay. Uh, <laughs> pretty funny name. All right. Um... Take on c5, probably they'll take with the pawn. Rook c1, queen e2, rook d1, probably, or queen c2. I'll go queen c2, queen b1, queen a1, try to put pressure on these uh, long diagonals, put a rook on d1. Uh, I could, wait, is that a free pawn on h7? It looks like it. Bishop f5 first, though, maybe? I'll just take. Bishop f5, hit the rook, and play rook c1 next move. Or rook d1, I should say, not rook c1. Queen e7. Drop the queen back to b1. No tricks here on these diagonals. Bishop d3. Play e4, try to open it up a little bit. d4, probably rook e1, or e5 maybe. Rook h8, play rook e1. Bishop e5, I think I can just take bishop h2, knight h2, I've got knight h2, queen h4, knight f3. Oh right, Bardilis says, uh, thank you Chess Bay for gifting all these uh, subs, these these subs to 64 hearts, uh, Rawl Orenstar, and Juice. Um, I'll say the rest, in, get the rest in a second. f6, I could take, I'll just take on g6. I think I can, I can do many things here. I'm just going to put the bishop on e4. Did I just give knight c3, though? Yikes. Thank you, uh... Thank you, um... Uh, what's it? Rollins? Sorry, the chat's going too fast, you guys. I'm kind of missing them. Um... Knight c3, I could take. Uh, thank you for Is Is Isan Welder. I, ca I can't actually read that clearly. One second, you guys. Um, th thank you, you guys, for uh, subscribing. What am, I, what am I up on time here? Not up much, right? Or I can take. Um, I'm just going to go queen c2. Thank you, IBAP77, for subscribing. Oh, they're, they're all subs from Chess Bay. Okay, that, that's what I'm missing. Okay, so queen d6. If I take um, bishop h2, king f1, looks good. Knight e5, queen e5. Uh, I'm just going to grab. Just just grab. Thank you, Fast Pearl, for, for, just, for, uh, for subscribing. Bishop h2, king f1. So, all right, let's see. Thank you, Vavija, for subscribing. Bishop e5. Uh-oh, did I just miss blunder a mate or something? Paying too much attention to the subs. Okay, I have knight c4, bishop h2, knight you. What, a, what on earth is this? g3? Just g3, cut him off. Okay. Thank you, face chest, for cheering. 500 bits. 
Should see three. I think I can just take. And I'm just up too much material here. Ditch one, king g2. Just take. Okay, play. I'll play something more normal this game. Four, queen h5, bishop b3, knight f3, probably I'll just castle. Knight d5, maybe put pressure on the bishop. Thank you, Kungla4, for subscribing. Is d4 move here maybe? Knight d4, knight d4. Yeah, let's have some fun. Let's see. I don't know if it actually works, but it seems like a reasonable move. e4. I think I'll take and play knight g5. Queen g7 and probably just like c3. Knight a5. I could play like rook e1 or... Hmm. This is a strange position that I've got myself into. Or bishop f4, maybe. Actually, bishop f4 looks very good. Knight f5. Bishop e5. He can't he can't play f6 because of the diagonal. He has to go queen h6. Now I can take, and now I think after knight e4. This should be really, really bad. Ah, but he's got d6, maybe? Yeah, I kind of misplayed this. Uh, but I should have put the knight on f6 right away. Why did I do it like this? Hmm. Now I can play knight e8 and knight takes c7. And the rook on e8 is hanging. So after takes, I just grab. And I can take everywhere. But I think I'll just take on a7. And just go like knight b6, and it should just be winning. Oh, someone says, I thought he was going to play normal. <laughs> you guys are funny. Um, knight d7, hit the bishop on b3. Um, quickest way to win here. I'll throw in a check. Throw in a check. Now I'll take on b3. Rook c1, knight d4, rook b2. Um, rook b4 maybe. Now I'll start. I don't know if c4 is the best way to play this, but it's it's one way to try and start opening everything. Takes rook d1, rook d5, take the knight. All right, next game. Play d6, maybe a6 next move. b5. This should be 7, knight d7. Um, Fastbounce says, love your style, Hikar. I watched you yesterday as well. Keep it up, champ. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. a3, I'll just castle. d1. Play e5 or c5. I'll play e5. D1. Could play c5 here, maybe. I think I'll just take. If he takes with the knight, I go c5. If he takes with the bishop, I also go c5. I think I'll just take with the knight. Rook e8. If takes, I take, and then e4 hangs. So queen f4, so like knight h5 maybe. The queen d6, queen d6, rook d6, bishop c3. Maybe d5 was also possible. Knight 
So it does take, I'll take, I'll take on c3, take on e4, g5, take on c2, rook c1, just bishop b3 here, protect backward diagonal, protect the pawn on f7 now. Maybe just h6, kick the knight out before he can go bishop g2 and knight e4. So knight f3, and now I think I'll just go king g7, knight f6, knight e4. So you can play c4. That's actually a very good move, probably. Um, hmm. I guess I'll go b4. And now I'm going to try to run the a pawn down the board. We'll see. Maybe rook fb8. Yeah, I rarely play in Tata. I, I play Gibraltar um, pretty much all the time. My next classical event will be in um, in Gibraltar, but my next actual over-the-board event will be in India in about six days or so. I think it starts on the 6th or 7th of November in Calcutta. So C6, I could play B3 maybe. Or Rook C, Rook C8, C7. No, I think B3 just makes the most sense. Knight T4. Think takes A4. This should be winning, I would think. He's got to go C7 now, I think, almost for sure. C8. B5. Now, I think I can just retreat with knight f6 and knight d6. Then I go b2. C4, maybe like knight d5. Because now the knight covers the c3 square. I've got b2. I could, could have also maybe taken, but anyway. Wait, what? Free queen? Okay. Oh, now I'm playing Last Samurai. Okay. Didn't I play Last Samurai last night? I feel like I played Last Samurai last night. I don't know why I'm playing him again. Play C4. Well, let's play C3. Just play something super slow. C4, try to open up something here on the, on the, against the pawn on C5. C6, I'll take. Takes, I think, rook C, I think I'll play E4 here, try to, again, to make something maybe. F4, C4 could be a slight issue, so I think I'll play Bishop C4. Rook C1 first maybe was a little bit better. Takes, I'll take. B5. Could play knight e3. Knight e3 f3 was one option that was reasonable. Uh, I think rook c1. d7. I think I'll play b3. Fix the pawn so he has no c4. Now I'll launch with f4. c4. And if I take. Knight b6, knight e3. I don't see it. Uh, so as, as Chesapeake pointed out, the thing is to try and win, you also need to move fast. So it's not just winning games. So, okay, so maybe, I mean, maybe that's my mistake. I'm just, uh... <laughs> wait, do I have knight d5 here? Maybe knight f5, actually. I mean, am I actually way behind or not? I mean, I'm, I'm in second place, aren't I? Or no, now I'm in fourth place somehow. Like, I mean, but when I win this game, I'll be back to second place. So I don't know if I'm actually playing super, super slow or not. Shoot, I missed this queen a3. That's a good move. Um, queen b1. Probably he's got rookie four here or something. But I think rookie four, I'm just gonna take it, even if it's not the best move. I'm gonna try to follow Chespa's advice and move fast. 
Uh, the one game I lost was to Penguin. Uh, I was completely winning, but I got slow at the end, and he was able to complicate it enough that I messed up. King h7, King h2, Knight h4. Now for rook e4, I've got rook c7 probably. Oh, but he's got rook e7 or something? <sighs> okay, so I'll play rook c6 then. Queen e3. Rook c7, rook e7 could be a problem, so let's play knight f3. Maybe knight e5 now. Now I've got knight g6, and now he's now it's just it's over. Queen e4. Yeah, he keeps finding the only way to hang on where he doesn't just lose on the spot. Oh great, and I just gave him knight e3. So bad. So, so, so bad. Then I had 95 there to make a draw. But I am still up on time here, so I should kind of have to try and find a way to win this game. Before throwing a check. Throwing a check. Um, okay. Okay, time to go for the flag. Gotta go for the flags. All right, that was a terrible game, but at least I won. All right, so next game, who am I playing? Okay, 1592, so uh, relatively, should be a relatively easy game. That, that game is actually a lot like my game against Andrew. It's just that um, Samurai is not as fast as Andrew. So even though, even though I was very slow, I was still a little bit quicker at the end. So I'll play G5, Knight G6. Or b6, maybe. Knight g6. And I'll play h5 and g4. Go for the kill. So Paul just keeps winning games, basically, if I understand it correctly. E5, play knight f4, g4. Whoa, he, oh, I mean, I guess, why did he, actually, I'm, I should win this game pretty fast, hopefully. Um, so we're basically like one way in, essentially. Or one, one hour in, sorry, we're ha halfway through. Zernik says I lost to the uh, Norwegian guy in the first round. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty tough, actually. Um, so, okay, so knight e4, I can just take and go queen h4, maybe, just to finish it off quickly. So 70 minutes left. So, yeah, so halfway in, I'm still basically tied for... I'm going to be tied for first once I win this game, I think. Um, so pr pretty decent. 
Okay. Maybe now I'll get Paul finally. Or is it, I mean, I'm hoping this isn't going to be like the other night where basically every game I, I basically end up like behind and I never played the guy I'm behind until like it's way too late. Because that's what happened against Andrew. I beat him a lot of the games at the end, but I didn't play him until the last like 45 minutes. And so it was already way too late to catch up. Okay, takes knight c3, queen d2. So 69, so 69 minutes, so queen d2. Yeah, I mean, I guess unlike bullet, though, you can't rack up a huge score either, you guys. It's like in bullet, you can win like 10 games in 10 minutes. So you play a couple of weak guys and you just win them, win each game in one minute, then you can rack it up much quicker. Whereas here, um, here it's a lot harder, I would say. So bishop g4, um, I could take, I think I'll just play f3. Like rook fd1, knight d5, f4. A5, I'll play rook c1. Probably f4 next move takes and something on the diagonal maybe so it does take I'll take and now it's perfect because now c7 is a backwards pawn 97 I'll take play queen c3 I think uh, but bishop b5 okay I'll just throw on the check Queen f6, but can't I go bishop b5 here now? I think I think I'm I think I'm winning now. So rook d8. Now I can take though. Now it when he, if he takes with the knight, the rook hangs takes with the king, I have rook c7. And it's just devastating. I guess, but in, in bullet, I, in bullet, I think the time does matter. I think in blitz less so, because like, I'm just looking at the overall scores and I have 11 out of 12, Tang has 10 out of 12, Paul has 11 out of 11. So we are playing about the same amount of games. Whereas like in the bullet, I was behind Andrew by about five games. He was always playing like five to six more than I was. So, um, so I think actually in bullet, it matters and blitz, I think a lot less how, how quick or slow you are. That's just my two cents. Maybe just e4. Or maybe just rook d4. Rook d4 and bishop c6. Play like king e2. Bring the king over. Put the bishop on c6. Maybe now, now I'll put the bishop on d3. I was going to put it on c6 originally, but now I'm going to put it on. Um... Now I could just take, but I'll play b4. Mm, play b5, I'll just play a3. Like b6, what am I doing to this game? Somehow I've completely misplayed this. What am I doing? Okay, I should just got to move faster. What am I doing? Hmm. C8, take, split bishop d3. Maybe like, what am I doing? Again, I'm, I'm getting super slow at the one moment when I shouldn't be getting slow. Or uh, when I shouldn't be slow. Draw, no, no draw, that's for sure. And actually, yeah, now if king f7, rook e2, king f5, the, the knight hangs. So black's just lost here. Okay. So maybe I'll get Paul finally or not. Nope, no. So no, again, I can't seem to play Paul.
This is going to be super annoying if it turns out like the other night where I play for like an hour and a half or an hour 40 and then like I don't get Paul until the very end. So A4, so he takes, I'll take. Knight D7, I'll castle. G5, wow, that's a, uh, wow, that's a aggressive move. So I'll take, he'll play rook G8, obviously, I'll go back to F3. Knight e5. And we'll just retreat the bishop back to e2. Probably play g3 next move so that the, there are no real threats uh, straight down the g file anymore. Especially not in g2. Knight g4. Logical now. Here I want to play knight e4. Because now the rook on a4 does something useful. So he takes on e3, I think I can just take. Bishop e3, king h1, and I'm just, just winning. Takes, take back on e4, and now I'm just up, up a bunch of material. And black doesn't have an attack either. Knight g4. Logical try. Um, how to finish this off fast. Okay, I'll just play bishop d4. Try to exchange more pieces. Sheriff Joe Arpeo says, at GM Hikaru, what do you think of the newest Fortnite update? Um, <laughs> interesting, interesting name. Um, I'm going to trust you're not actually the sheriff. Um, I have never played Fortnite. I will be honest, I've never played Fortnite before, so I'm really not familiar with it at all. I I know what Fortnite is obviously, but I've just never uh, never played it. Ugh, and every time I keep I keep playing Penguin. This is really annoying now. This is the third time I played Penguin, I haven't played Paul even once. Ugh. Knight f three, play d five. H4, C5, it's all pretty known. Um, uh, play G5, Bishop G3, Knight E4. I'll take, play Bishop F5. D8. C5. Eight. Should two. I can I can take on G three and probably make a draw. And this let's see, Knight C three is no good, so I'll just take on D five. Should be three. <clears throat> Try to get creative. I'll try to get tricky here. Should d5, knight c3. Wait, did he just blunder knight c3, knight e2? So, okay. So he did blunder, so that that's good. No, he did blunder, but now rook d8 would be a very bad move, so I'll play bishop e6. I've just I've actually got to move fast. So I was beating Andrew last game too, but I was just way too slow. Maybe Bishop G four here.
I'm still much better here, but this is actually going to be quite hard to win because, um, so takes actually maybe not. I since I since I'm just going to be up two pawns or not two pawns, so I'm just going to be up the clean exchange. Okay, maybe like king h7. But now I pick up e4, so it's just winning. Okay. All right. So another game, another um, another something. It's like a collie system or something? I don't know what, what this is exactly. So like E4. Okay, so we're, we're one hour in. So we're one hour in, and I am in second place. I think, I think actually, there's a big margin that's opened up. So I'm, I'm in second place by a wide margin now. So now it's time to turn it on. E5, maybe knight g 5 is a move. B4 is a move. I think I'll play B4 just to kick the bishop. Also, now I've got B5 to undermine this E5 pawn, potentially. Bishop B6. Play c4, now I've got c5 threats. Queen c2. Knight d4. Yeah, somehow. This isn't really what I wanted, but I'll, I'll make do with it. So bishop b4, he'll probably take. I'll take. Should be six, c five. Now he trades. But queen e two, threaten queen h five. Grab the pawn if he takes. I've got queen e five with the check. Um, hitting the king and the rook at the same time. Bishop c4, I'll just play. Uh, bishop c4 is a good move. I actually missed this idea. Um, let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. This is probably not a good idea, actually, to play like this. Give up the queen, but I feel like sacking. So e4, so now I think we'll play. Play bishop d5 or rook e1. Maybe actually. Just c6. The idea being I can put the bishop on b7, and then it protects the pawn, and I can go like rook d1, rook d7. Queen f4. I'll just play rook d1. Rook c2. Okay, now I've got to go rook e1. I didn't want to play rook e1, but if he's going to fit, force me to do it, I'll do it. And now I'm just going to play a4, a5 if I can. Maybe 4 Maybe a5. f4. Oof. Okay, fine. I'm up so much time on the clock, I can afford to just play like this. 
I can just flag him here if I need to. Queen d4. Play rook d1. All right. That's another win. Next game. So basically, as I understand it, barring something bad happening to me, assuming I don't play penguin or someone like that, um, most likely... It's going to come down to one or two games against Paul at the end, if I play him at the end, that is. Four, I'll take. After three, this should be seven. Hopefully, like work D8, E5. Maybe rook e8 next, something like that. And there goes my doorbell again. But I'm not home, so rook d4. Maybe I'll take. He'll trade on b7. D1, just trade. Put the check in. I'll double rooks on the e file, rook e7, rook e8, and then maybe g5, g4. Which I'll play h6 to stop bishop g5. And G5. Um, thank you. Uh, oh, Chesspay just gifted to a sub to a Goon Recruiter. Thank you for that. Should see one knight d7. I'm gonna go knight e5. Just use this open e file and the idea of playing knight e5. So king g1. I could sack. Am I gonna sack another queen? Eh, let's have some fun. Why not? When in doubt, sack a queen. So, wait, bishop d2? Doesn't that just hang a rook? And rook d1. And take, take, just play d2. Queen c8, I've got bishop f8, because king h7 will get, he'd have a draw. Bishop f8. Throw on a check. Put the rook on a2. Threaten mate on a1 and h1, and now rook b2, and he can't stop rook b1 or rook a1 with checkmate. Oh, did Paul draw a game? Oh, I saw him on 58. Maybe he drew a game. Did he draw a game or... No, he lost a game. Ah, he lost. Okay. Or wait, no, sorry. I'm ahead of him. What am I thinking? I'm, I'm actually ahead of him. He lost a game. He's on 57. I'm on 58. So I'm actually up by one point now. Um, I'm just losing my mind. He takes 97. That is true. There aren't many Pauls in chess. There's Paul Morphy, but... Paul, Paul, Paul. I can't think of another Paul. Right off. Thank you, Sputnik BH, for subscribing with Twitch Prime. 92. Let's play F5. E4. G2. Could play A5, maybe possible but i think i'll just play rook b8 something simple knight f4 and queen e8 or did i just give him d5 c5 yikes paul pierce is a paul pierce was a very good basketball player oh yeah duh paul Carras. duh stupid stupid me what am i thinking of course paul Carras. he's the obvious one 
5, queen f7. I could trade queens, but I'm just going to take the pawn. So, okay, so what will he do? Maybe he'll trade or he'll play d5, but now after knight e5, we've got these great knights here. Play knight f3, bishop h6 is also a move. I think I'll play bishop h6. Threaten to, whoops. Oh good, that's the, oh good. For a second I thought that was an actual pre-move. Um, bishop c3, I could play knight f3, I could play knight g4. I think I'll just take on d5, keep it simple. Now I could play knight d3 maybe, or no, I'll just play bishop eight. Cause knight d3 he would sack the exchange and then it would be problematic. So I'm definitely better this game, but this could be hard to win. That's the only downside to this, this one. I'm gonna have to move a lot quicker actually to win this one. Um, A3, throw in a check. Now I've got a5 though. So I, I, now I'm pressing. I should not be pressing in this game, um, but I am pressing to try and win. I don't know who Paul Nakamura is, but that's not me. So. Here would be three, F3 maybe. Throw on a check, checkmate. Okay, next game. Whoops. There I go with the pre-move mistakes. I meant to play knight d7, not bishop d7, but the position's still actually okay here. Um, b4, I'll play a5. b5, whoa. And b6. This reminds me of one of these uh, games that I played long ago against computers where it would always lock up the, uh, the, the queen side with this like a4, b5, and then, then you would just get this free attack on the king side. I'm going to play knight h5 and probably f5 next. So e4, I could play f4. I don't really want to, uh, but I'll do, I'll do it just because. I'm going to put a knight on g3. G5, I'm gonna play G4 next probably. Why not? So he takes, I'll take, and now Queen H4, and I've gotten exactly what I wanted, so. Um, I, I pr presume I could have taken, but I'm just gonna put everything on G5, G5, G4, and Prepare the sack next move. Bishop e2. Okay. Now if I take gh bishop h3, gh3, knight h3, king g2, f3, rook f3, knight f4, rook f4, queen h2, king f3, rook f queen f2, king g4 is not mate, clearly. Um But I, I've got to go for it. Oh wait, does he have bishop takes f3? Oh shoot, does he have bishop f3? He had bishop takes knight f4, king g1, maybe he did. Okay, so knight f4, so he's got, he's got to take.
Throw in a chuck. I'll throw in a check. I'll take this rook. Put the queen back on f2. Oops. Whoa, whoa. No pre moves. No pre move nonsense. Okay, now I'm threatening queen h2 with g2. And I should just be winning. Queen d2. Throw in a check. Play rook f8, threaten rook f4, king g5, queen h4, mate. g2 is also probably good enough. Even material, dead draw. Yeah, it, actually it is even material, right? <laughs> but it's, uh, it's not a draw, that's for sure. Wait, did Paul somehow win two games in a row? He's won two games while I've been playing this one? That's crazy. Throw on a check, pick up a rook. Okay. Okay, play another low guy. Actually, so yeah, so you guys, I'm probably gonna actually start chatting a little bit less and focusing on winning some games here to try and pick up the speed a little bit. So I'm, I'm winning every game, but I am being very slow in the process. Okay, so I'll play c5, bishop f8, knight e5. Probably play bishop h5, or he'll take. Play h3, kick the bishop, take, play g4. Less chat, Pepe hands, more wins pog. I don't know what that means, but uh, it sound, sounds good. Queen h5, and I take the knight. And I'm even going to give up the pawn on c5 just to try and try and keep queens on the board and win this faster. Maybe Paul hasn't played more games than me, but I thought I could have sworn that I saw him show two wins uh, out of nowhere. Of course, there could be a problem with the, uh, it could have just been, wasn't updating enough. That's a, that's a good comment um, by uh, GTX Gaming 23. Nakamura issues. I'm winning every game, but not fast enough. That's true. It's good. It's good to have those issues. It's good to have those issues. Now I get Paul this time, maybe. Actually, I, I guess I can't see if he's playing. So, nope. Still 40 minutes to go, still a long way. Uh, did Daniel win 29 games? Did he go perfect or something? Oh, yikes, I missed knight d6. Or actually, I can just take though, right? a5. Seven, I'm gonna play a6. Take the queen. 
Bishop c5, dc1, queen b6, knight b5. Hmm. <laughs> I, guess I guess I'll just play something simple. H3, queen a4. Let's keep the game alive, keep it going. Ah, that was Bullet where he won 29 in a row? Okay. Makes sense too. Okay, Knight c6 maybe? Mm. If I take. And I'm just up the whole rook, so this is just over. Okay. Yeah, I feel like I've played everyone in this event except Paul, actually. Weird. Maybe not everyone, but all the top guys already at least a few times, which is kind of weird. Maybe I'll play G5, try to open up. Because he played H4, so... Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? So actually, now now I'm noticing like I'm up by what like eight points only. So it feels like I'm starting to pick up my speed a little bit more than he, than uh, Paul as well. So G5 will take F6, pick up a piece, takes. He'll, he'll take on H8, take on G5 or Rook H1 castles G8. Queen e2, I can play knight d4, could take, play knight g6 maybe. A lot of options here again. Um, I think I'll just take and go like rook g8, just, just play an end game. I mean, he's got two pawns for the, uh, for the, um, for the piece, but I, I should be much better here. Queen h5, maybe I'll just take. So I've got like 91 tricks coming. Queen f7. Does queen f7 bother me? It might bother me. Okay, if I play rook d8. Okay, h7. I think I can just play knight c6. Queen g6, queen e8. D7 and the, the fort holds. Queen G4. Maybe it's not so easy. I thought it was just over. Hmm. King D8, Queen H4. Maybe Knight D8. Knight E5 to play Queen Knight D5, so I have Queen E6. Someone asked how many trick or treaters have I gotten so far? Oh shoot, he's got knight b5, I didn't see that. Knight e6, knight a7, knight, knight a7, king b8. I've had, I've had three, I've heard three knocks on my door by the way. That's, that's what I've heard, so three knocks on my door. Oh no, and I just blundered. Wait, do I have knight d4? Ooh, I have knight d4, just barely. Just barely I'm okay here, just barely. And now I should now I should be fine, because now the knight on d4 is an absolute boss. Queen h5, I think I'll play knight c2, and now I've got 91 tricks. Actually, 91 is a very serious threat. Queen e8, and now I should just be winning. 
Whoa, no, whoa, 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 tricks. This guy is full of tricks tonight. Queen d2. Queen b, queen d7 is no good. Knight b4, queen d6. Right, that's the point. It is Halloween, trick or treat, right? D6. And that's, yeah, should be all she wrote. That was a tight game. I mean, that, that was a very messy, that was probably one of the mess, that was probably the messiest game I've played tonight. I know I lost to Andrew, but that was not what I would call a messy game. D5, knight D4 probably if he takes. Just take with a pawn. Knight D4 and probably C6 next move to cover these these squares. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I'll play bishop h6, try to force something here. Oh, and now by trading, he, he's giving me everything I could dream of, because I'm going to get a great knight to d4 eventually. f3, I'll play king e7, probably rook d8 next move. And then rook d2 maybe. I guess he's got king f2, kind of. Okay, I'll play f5, just try and open it up some more. d1. Play f4, trade, I'll just trade. I'll we'll throw on a check. Actually, why did I do this? This is completely insane. Ah, uh, so careless. Although, actually, he has to trade. Sorry, so maybe it's not so bad. Still probably better here, it's just not easy at all. Now I'll play b5, fix it so he can't create an outside pass pawn. Uh, some people are saying a draw is coming. Could be a draw, maybe. I still think I have decent chances to win this, but we'll see. We'll play king d6. Have to trade. Put a pawn on the dark square. Ah, but maybe he takes king e6. Yeah, I think this is winning. 
Yeah, that's just winning. He had to try and go the other way and play a4, but I think it was just, it was too slow. And now I just... Oh, prim of h4 because a4 would be chalk. The only time Naka draws is when he is in an art class. <laughs> That's a good one. Right, finally does it. And that's all she wrote. So next game. So it's what, 28 minutes left? So one random. Okay, but this guy is also, this guy's actually good. This guy is dangerous, potentially. Castle. Like e5, maybe e5, queen e7. Or just queen c7, bishop b7, also. a4. Should be three. I think I'll just put a5 now. One bishop b seven. Now his diagonal could be pretty deadly as well for me. So bishop, queen e two. I think I'm gonna play queen c six. Put more pieces on this diagonal. Threaten bishop a six also. Bishop g five. Maybe bishop a six. Queen f three. E four. Someone said play the Thanos opening. I don't know what that means, but. Actually, queen f3, I could maybe trade rook f3, bishop e2 also. That's also an option. So he does play queen f3, so if e4 takes... I assume he's going to sack, yeah. Queen c8, bishop h6, bishop c4. This is what I wasn't sure about originally, but I think it's okay. Wait, what? Ooh, he's got tricks. He's got, wait, bishop c4 though? So, okay, if I take rook d8 takes, bishop d8, I'm just in trouble. Oh no, did I just blunder? Wait, if I take rook d8, king g7, bishop f7, queen f5, and I'm winning. Good. Whew! Whew! That was close. That was a close one. So it takes, and now I think just queen f5, and it's just all over. Okay. Oh, did Paul, Paul lost another one, so now I'm really starting to lap it up. So now I'm up by 14 points with 25 minutes to go, so... Okay, Krikor. A serious... Krikor is actually a very serious player, too, so... G6. I think I'll. I think I'm gonna play something unusual this time. Of course, now that I'm up by 14 points, it also makes some sense to kind of slow it down a little bit too, possibly. Try and extend the games as long as I can.
but we'll see. So a6, I could play like knight e2. Knight a4 actually makes a lot of sense too. Now this actually looks quite good for me because now I've got knight b6 tricks coming maybe. So he's deep in the tank here. Okay, so that's what I figured he was going to sack, but I wasn't sure. I guess I'll take. Takes, I can take or play. I think I'll just play knight f3 here. I'll trust that the two pawns, since he has double f pawns and this pawn on d, d5 can be blockaded, that I've got enough play here. b5, knight b2, rook c2, knight d3 probably, or rook c3. Oh, 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 jeez, I just hung that. Oh, jeez, he had, rook takes f3. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, jeez, what am I doing? What am I doing? Starting to, starting to slip it up. Ugh. Wake up, wake up, wake up! Then again, it's been two hours of non-stop blitz, so it is acceptable to make some mistakes here and there. Play bishop e2. Take with the pawn. Keep everything consolidated. The knights protect both these entry squares on c2 and c1. So rook c7. I think... Now I can just play bishop f3 and keep bringing my king closer. And this is just completely over now. Because now I can play like... I could play knight b4, but I'm just going to play rook e1. Keep it simple. Keep it slow and steady. Basically, I'm going to put a knight on b4 or, um, or try to put a knight on e3. Actually, I'll, I'll go for it right now. I'll play knight b4. He'll probably play a5. Then knight c2, b4, and knight e3. And now, how to finish it off. I think now I'll put the bishop back on d3 and put pressure on f5. Just rework it slowly. I could take and play knight d5, king g6. It's good enough. I don't care. I'm going to be keep it slow. Mm -hmm. For some reason, I forgot that he could play a4. Wait, if I take rook e3, I've got nothing. Okay. And bishop c2. Take with the bishop. Put the attack the d5 pawn another way. Rook c5. Maybe now knight c2. Hit the pawn. Um, now I could take. And I will take rook h3, rook g2, rook f2. And now I think I start launching a4, a5 is coming. Now I can also just run my king the other way. And that's all she wrote. Alright, next game. Yeah, so Paul's starting to slip up. So, wow, I've opened up a 17 point gap. Wow, that's pretty big, actually. Although now I would say it goes the other way. It's kind of crazy that I've opened up a big gap, but again, I haven't played Paul, and there's a good chance that. I guess this is three minutes, so if you assume every game goes six minutes, there's a reasonable chance that I won't play Paul in the entire event, even though we've been one and two the whole, whole, uh, whole event, which is. Really kind of bizarre, actually. That's actually more than bizarre. That's just kind of insane. 
I'll play a four bishop f3. So he plays f5, so he just gives me the e5 square. I'm going to play knight a4, attack both of these weak weaknesses here on b6 and c6. That's 7 bishop a3, hit the rook on f8, he can't go to f7 because my knight. But he does it anyway. So king of seven. Now I think I'm going to remaneuver this knight back to e5. And I'll just sidestep it for one move and then I'll play knight e5 again next move. Now he has to take, I would assume. Like rook d1. Oh, and if he took, I could play bishop e4, f e4, queen takes e4, and I just pick up a pawn. Okay, last samurai. Bishop f3, original. Original concepts. Five, I take, take, d5, d is a bad move. I think I can just play like, hmm, this is a little bit odd. If I play, I guess I should play rook c8. I don't know if I want to take, I'll take. I don't know if I should, it's fairly risky. King f8, f5, I've got knight e5, so let's play knight f6. Try to finish my development as fast as possible here. Knight c5. I think I should be okay already, but there's still a long way to go. Live from the 850 says I have to get up for work in the morning, but I'm loving this. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it. I uh, aim to please. Bishop c5, if I uh, take on c2. Rook c5, rook d3, if I take bishop d6, queen d6, bishop d6, queen. Knight f6 takes with queen. So, all right, so let's see. So, all right, thank you, uh, Sv Svegolius Hudetan, for subscribing with Twitch Prime. Should be six, I'll take. Queen d1, queen d7, rook e7, just queen c6, and I think it's just over. Knight f6, queen b6 is check. If he doesn't move the knight, I just take it. It's just over. It's over. I mean, knight g5 is the only thing that makes possible sense, but again, I just take the knight on d5, so. Knight g5. Knight d5, rook f7, king g8, rook g7, king g7, bishop d4, knight f6. Bishop d4 right here, I can just trade, I think. In case it takes, like knight f6, or wait, knight f6, knight e6 maybe, so maybe I should sidestep it with king g8. Now I've got check, and queen takes f4 with check. 
And that's all she wrote. In fact, I'm beginning to wonder, you guys, I've won 25 of 26 games. Have I even gained any points in this event? I think I've gained like one point or something. It's like kind of insane. I guess I'll put a6, b5. Right, free pawn? I'll play g5. I could take the pawn on b2 if I want to. Uh, I guess I will. When in doubt, be greedy. Martin Wass says, have ever been to Antarctica? No, I have not been to Antarctica. It's the... Uh, I guess I haven't been to Oceania either. I've never been to Australia or New Zealand, so um, I, I haven't been to two continents, but I've never been to Antarctica. I'd love to go sometime. Um, unfortunately, it gets more and more expensive to go down there. Like, I, I remember looking maybe like, I want to say it was like four or five years ago, I was looking at, at, uh, at the prices for going on some sort of guided expedition to do the Vincent Massif, which is the highest mountain in, on the continent of Antarctica. And I think at the time it was maybe like $12,000. Something around there, um, and now I think that exact same expedition costs like fifty thousand or something utterly insane. That's not really affordable. So I'm not sure if I'll get get to Antarctica anytime soon. But um, wait, why did I just do this? Did I just blunder something? What did I just do to this position? It was completely fine, and then I just lost my mind. Now this is a big mess. Start talking about Antarctica and I forget how to play chess. Uh, knight of three, I could play bishop g4 maybe. Or bishop b7. Bishop g4 seems logical enough. I think I'm gonna survive now, but I just, I lost my mind while I was busy off talking about all that other jazz. G6, I'll play like Rook c8 maybe, or e4, I guess rook c8. Rook c1, rook d5, d4. Play d4 here, makes some sense. Try and just simplify it into some end game. Even if I don't win at this point, I don't care. I just want to avoid losing. Heiser Jack says, just get an Antarctica loan from the bank. <laughs> right, yeah, just 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 get a just just get a loan. So it looks like I'm okay here because he can't really get to this H4 pawn, and even if he could, I would always have rook h8. And the only other entry square is on the seventh rank. So maybe two, I'm gonna play D3. Now probably E4 is coming soon. And the danger is passed. So now I'm doing well again, so I can start rambling about Antarctica again. Um, Queen D2, let's play like Rook D8 maybe. E4, throw in a check, E3 next move, and oof, brutal, brutal. And someone else in the chat just says, "Cool draw with eight or cool draw with eighteen hundred, mad chill." So queen a two, yeah. I mean, I don't mind at this point. The event's pretty much wrapped up for me. I'm gonna win it, so I uh, just would like to avoid losing a game. Now, of course, the d two and e two pawns are just gonna run up the board, and it's game over. Now I make another queen. Take pawn. I guess in theory, at this point, I should probably draw the game out since I have a minute and a half I really wanted to, but it doesn't really matter. It's 
So again, I'm playing one random. And now I'm just gonna be solid. Now we're now we're in the home stretch, and I don't feel like playing something sharp against him after the last game, so I'll just play something boring. Three, just castles. Probably rookie eight next move. I'll play g5 here. Tuck the bishop on g6 and go for knight h5. a4. Play a6 or a5. I'll play a6. Now maybe bishop g6 or knight e5. Both removes. Or knight b4. Or just about every move on the board here. So I'll play bishop g6. Mm-hmm, knight before, knight a5, we'll play knight before. Shot two, take. Play queen e7. Probably rook d8 next move, just keep it simple. If that is if I can ever reach the rook from a8, a5, now c 5 is a move, d5 is also Maybe d5 just actually, because he'll take and I'll play knight takes d3. Or e5. e5. And still take. Play knight h5. So I can go knight f4, hit the pawn on d3. I've got queen b4 as well. A lot of possibilities. Queen b4, knight c5 could be a bit annoying, so I think I'll just play knight f4. Three. I'm gonna play b6. G3, knight h5. If he goes goes f4, I can go knight g7, knight f5, get an outpost. And the point also is by b6 is I want to go queen b4, but I don't want to allow him the c5 square for his knight. So rook f3. I have bishop h5. Bishop h5, f5 is what he wants, so I'll just go g4. Force the rook to move. Put the knight on f5. Put the queen on b4, and everything's starting to just work fantastically now. So knight c1, I could play c5, I could also take, I think I'll take with the pawn because this way you can't go knight d3 because the pawn is still hanging on d4. And this surely can't be okay for white. He's down two pawns. Although, actually, why, this could be a little bit tricky. Actually, yeah, why did I do that? That was stupid. Just hung a pawn for no good reason. The rookie six. No, he has no knight f6, so maybe now rook d4. Or maybe just swing the rook to b6, try to create some mate threats on h2 here. Knight f6, king g7. Oh, whoops. Oh, jeez, he's got knight g4. Oy, 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 Ugh. Okay, maybe rook b3. Push b4. Just take. Actually, I, could, I should have done it the other way, but it doesn't really matter. Just take. King f8. I'll just take on h6. Oh, 
Oh, is he trying to run it down now because they're four minutes? I guess he could be trying to run it down. So, all right, so I guess it's going to be the last game then. And wow, I avoided playing the guy in second place for the entire event. That That's incredible, actually, just thinking about it. That's incredible. Yeah, so some, uh, yeah, Chesspay just said my next game's likely to abort mid-game. I remember that from yesterday, actually. It's a very weird feeling to have. So I'm going to try to win this one quickly. So C5. I guess I'll just play E4. B4 was also, actually, I don't know why I didn't just play B4. That made much more sense. Now I'll do it. Actually, I had Knight G5, which was even better, but oh well. D5, knight, g5. Take, take on d5. Queen f5, d6. Queen d5, take the knight. Okay, so try to get in one more. 234. Yeah, this one's not going to count, though. One random. Actually, I think my last game yesterday also was against one random, oddly enough. Actually, I guess, yeah, this game I should actually take my time, not move too fast, since it is the last game. Free Rook. Of course, now that he blundered, but it's still, the game's not going to count. That's <laughs> So I'm probably going to get a winning position, but the game's not going to count. So let's see if I can win this game at 126. Probably not, because he's got 226 left. But I'll try to win this game in the next minute if I can. Or is he just going to stall out? He might just stall out in this game. Yeah, there's no way this game's going to end in the next 30 seconds. So just for that reason, I'm going to intentionally hang everything. So, yeah, so all right, you guys. So that so that means I'm going to win the event. Um, yeah, so... All right, so I guess then... Um, yeah, uh, this... I, I don't think I'll stream tomorrow. I'll probably... I'll be back on Friday to do the... Uh, to, to play in the next um next uh, arena kings on friday um thank you uh chess bay for uh, cheering the bits um yeah so so yeah so i will uh i'll be back on friday for the arena kings as well um yeah so uh probably not tomorrow but maybe sometime in the mid afternoon early afternoon if the markets are doing well um but we'll see so so yeah, all right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this uh, this stream of the Arena Kings. First one that I've won, actually. Is, this one was, was pretty smooth. Um, so yeah, uh, until next time, you guys, uh, have a good evening. Or I guess have a happy Halloween, and I'll, I'll be back on Friday. Or actually, quickly, someone said, what time is it on Friday? Um, let me just check very quickly for you guys. Um, 
Um, let me double check that. It should be at 12 p.m. Pacific, so that would be 3 p.m. Uh, 3 p.m. Eastern on Friday. So I'll be back then uh, for another stream, and hopefully I'll hopefully I'll uh, win on Friday as well. So until then, have a have a good evening, have a happy Halloween, and uh, good night, everybody.